Lose your weight, simple and practical ways. Eat right and on time. Weight loss is a critical issue in today's society with obesity on the rise and people finally realizing what being overweight is doing to their bodies, their health and eventually their lifestyles. Weight loss is good for many conditions. It is of real benefit in diabetes, high blood pressure, shortness of breath, joint problems and raised cholesterol. Weight loss is possible with exercise and healthy meals alone, but including good quality protein and building lean muscle mass will help you lose more quickly, helping you to keep the weight off and stay healthy. Weight loss is virtually guaranteed if one sticks to the regulations of the diet. Weight loss basics, eat more calories than you use and you'll put on weight, use more than you eat and you'll lose it. Weight loss is now a goal which can be reached really easily if we stick to a training regime, diet plan. But for some, surgery may be the only hope. Surgical techniques have evolved over the past few decades, and most are effective, in the sense that they do typically lead to substantial weight loss. However, all experts do agree that the best way to maintain weight loss is to follow a healthy lifestyle. Whichever approach you prefer, the key to long-term success is a slow steady weight loss. It is proven that it is important to prepare yourself mentally for your weight loss journey and the lifestyle changes you are about to undergo. For individuals who are morbidly obese, surgery to bypass portions of the stomach and small intestine may at times be the only effective means of producing sustained and significant weight loss. The primary factor in achieving and maintaining weight loss is a lifelong commitment to regular exercise and sensible eating habits. You will find that all levels of your life are improved with weight loss which brings you so much personal satisfaction. If eating habits are not completely and permanently changed, the weight loss provided by a diet is not going to last long. If you suffer from, or think you may suffer from, a medical condition you should consult your doctor before starting a weight loss and, or exercise regime. Drinking water is one of the most rapid weight loss tips that dietitians suggest to people and leads to 100 plus calories extra burned a day. Every 20 soft drinks you skip from your normal intake equates to about 1 pound of weight loss. Fasting, while fasting plays a major part in some diets, it is generally not recommended for safe weight loss. Diet. Dietitians are nutritionists who work directly with clients or patients regarding their nutritional needs. Dieting reduces your caloric intake but exercising helps you burn more calories. Diet weight loss is vital if obesity is present. Dieting is easier than you ever imagined. On a vegetarian diet, weight loss is not supposed to be a problem. A well-balanced reduced calorie diet containing moderate fat is recommended. The inclusion of different kinds of fruits into weight loss diets is a healthy way of dealing with starvation, as well as providing the body those nutrients and vitamins it needs to function properly. Exercise while you diet, weight loss is all about reducing your caloric intake while you increase the calories you burn. First of all decide how much weight you want to lose, and set yourself a realistic target, ideally with the help of your dietitian or doctor. A diet that works for some people does not work for others. A healthy breakfast is one of the key elements of a healthy diet and consequential weight loss. Most fad diets, if followed closely, will result in weight loss as a result of caloric restriction. Moreover, dieters who fail to adopt better exercise and eating habits will regain the lost weight and possibly more. As it begins, large amounts of water will be shed, leading the dieter to think that significant weight reduction is taking place. Consult your doctor, for any health problem and before using any supplements, making dietary changes, or before making any changes in prescribed medications. Much of the early weight loss on a very low-calorie diet represents loss of muscle tissue rather than loss of fat. As many as 85% of dieters who do not exercise on a regular basis regain their lost weight within two years. Repeatedly losing and regaining weight, yo-yo dieting, encourages the body to store fat and may increase a patient's risk of developing heart disease. Eating three balanced, moderate portion meals a day with the main meal at midday is a more effective way to prevent obesity than fasting or crash diets, which convince the body that there is an ongoing famine. Modern medicine has found ways to extend our lifespan through dietary restriction. For the sake of your health, always consult your doctor before making any significant dietary, nutritional or lifestyle changes. 
The American Heart Association AHA, generally recommends a diet with less than 30% fat. Individuals' lifestyle, food preferences, preparation abilities, snack habits, cravings, etc., should all be considered when developing a dietary plan. It is important that the nutrition counselor tailor the diet to the individual as opposed to adopting a one-size-fits-all approach. After weight loss, lower-fat diets may be the best. For most people, being overweight as a result of an insufficient amount of exercise, an inadequate lifestyle routine and a poorly balanced diet. Most high-fiber foods are also high in water and low in calories, making them must-have diet foods. Soluble fiber can help to lower cholesterol, insoluble contains indigestible fibers that add bulk to our diets. Some experts believe dieters have better control if they eat several mini-meals throughout the day. Exercise and a balanced diet are the key factors in fat loss and weight reduction. Drinking water is one of the most rapid weight loss tips that dietitians suggest to people and leads to 100 plus calories extra burned a day. The ultimate tip to eventual success, regular exercise and a balanced diet. Add one cheat day to your diet to rid yourself of cravings. Eat a healthy diet filled with lots of vegetables, fruits, and whole grain products. Fasting, while fasting plays a major part in some diets, it is generally not recommended for safe weight loss. Surgery. But for many in this situation, weight loss surgery is the only hope. One of the earliest forms was gastric bypass surgery. There are many forms of surgery these days and all have pros and cons. There are still substantial risks, however, as with any major surgery. For those who believe surgery is the best option, consulting with an experienced physician is essential. For individuals who are morbidly obese, surgery to bypass portions of the stomach and small intestine may at times be the only effective means of producing sustained and significant weight loss. Such obesity surgery, however, can be risky, and it is performed only on patients for whom other strategies have failed and whose obesity seriously threatens health. If hiatus hernia symptoms are chronic and do not respond to diet and medication, surgery may become necessary. Today, most surgeons elect to perform laparoscopic surgery, because it is minimally invasive and recovery time is reduced. Burn. If you imagine yourself losing weight and burning up calories during normal daily activity, you will lose weight and body fat. It has a cellular effect on the body, causing fat cells to release their stored fat to be burned as energy. The food you eat during the day should be burned off through activity. Exercise while you diet, weight loss is all about reducing your caloric intake while you increase the calories you burn. Dieting reduces your caloric intake but exercising helps you burn more calories. We all know that to achieve a healthy weight loss we need to burn more calories than what we take in. Exercise increases the metabolic rate by creating muscle, which burns more calories than fat. When regular exercise is combined with consistent, healthful meals, calories continue to burn at an accelerated rate for several hours. Calories burn depending on your activity level. Not only does fat provide a sense of fullness, eating enough of a healthy fat called omega-3 fatty acids may cause your metabolism to burn fat more efficiently. If your weight remains constant, you are probably taking in the same amount of calories you burn each day. If you're slowly gaining weight over time, it is likely that your caloric intake is greater than the number of calories you burn through your daily activities. The number of calories we burn each day is dependent upon our basal metabolic rate BMR, the number of calories we burn per hour simply by being alive and maintaining body functions and our level of physical activity. Our weight also plays a role in determining how many calories we burn at rest, more calories are required to maintain your body in its present state, the greater your body weight. Someone whose job involves heavy physical labor will naturally burn more calories in a day than someone who sits at a desk most of the day, a sedentary job. For people who do not have jobs that require intense physical activity, exercise or increased physical activity can increase the number of calories burned. To lose one pound, you must burn approximately 3,500 calories over and above what you already burn doing daily activities. Use a calorie calculator to figure out how many calories you burn while sitting, standing, exercising, lifting weights, etc. If you're eating fewer calories than you're burning, you'll lose weight. 
As it is well known when the body does not get enough calories it starts to burn the fat that was deposited in the fat tissue. Exercise will help you burn excess calories and fat, and will also help to tone and build muscle. Retaining muscle is the key to optimal fat burning metabolism. If you want to learn more about weight loss then please, click the link in the description below this video now.